welcome back to another weekly vlog it's monday i washed my hair so i'm about to recreate a hairstyle this one is really cute it's a bow this is what it looks like how freaking pretty is that i'm really excited because it looks easy so hopefully i'm not spending too much time on this before I attempt that hairstyle, let me show you my project that I was working on yesterday. So I created this gallery wall. How freaking cute is that? I love it. I feel like I could definitely build on the sides. It does look a little bit small um, and I still need to print some pictures out for it. But my husband and I went to Marshall's and I had bought some black and gold frames that matched the vibe of our previous couch. Um, I think in December um, but anyway so we went back and returned them and swapped them out for these Tulum boho looking frames that match the vibe a lot better. Our plan is to have a Tulum themed living room and everything is slowly starting to come together. We even picked up this blanket ladder while we were at Marshall's. We haven't taken the tag off yet because I wasn't sure if we were going to keep it or not um, but it just goes with the boho Tulum theme and the only thing is like we need to get some new blankets to go with it like some neutral colored blankets because these ones just aren't it. I know it looks really small, but I'm really proud of myself for this. I just mapped it out on the ground last night and then put it up. It was pretty easy to do. We still need to get an end table for right here and possibly like a little wooden coffee table. I'm not sure what we're gonna do about this. We used this frame as our wedding guest seating chart, so that's why it has our wedding pictures in it, but these sizes just don't do them justice. I feel like these should be blown up, so I don't know what we're gonna replace these with, um, but we're gonna take some of these and put them into the larger frames just so they'll look nicer. So that was my side project over the weekend. This hairstyle took me like five minutes and I used this tool that I got off of Amazon like three years ago. I don't use this enough, but it came in handy for this hairstyle. To make the bow, I wrapped this piece around the rubber band and then I just stuck this right here and then pulled the hair through and then pulled it down. So it's super flexible, so you can kind of just maneuver it however you need to and if you don't have one of these and you love creating hairstyles i definitely recommend getting one just because they're super inexpensive but they do help a lot i'm gonna edit this video right now because i want to get this up as soon as possible because i'm so excited about it Tuesday I just got to Trader Joe's because I need to get ingredients to make shakshuka. This is what it looks like if you've never had it. It's so freaking good. I haven't made it in so long like over a year so I'm really excited to make it but my main reason for making it is because our place is now on TikTok and they let me pick out a new pan so I got this pretty lavender color so I need to shoot a video using it and I was like ooh, shakshuka would be a great recipe to cook in it because I'm trying to think what else I could cook in this new pan because I don't really cook a lot. Okay, I'm exposing myself here. I know I've been telling myself that I need to start cooking more. My husband and I usually just cook up chicken, salmon, rice, and veggies, but I want to get more creative in the kitchen. Anyways, this shakshuka recipe is so freaking delicious. And it looks like you put in a lot of time and effort, but it's really not that hard. I think the cook time is like 30 minutes. So... I'm gonna grab the ingredients for that right now. I was hoping to maybe get a little bit of content while I'm in there. It's kind of busy at Trader Joe's on a Tuesday at 1 p.m. I thought it was gonna be slow, but I feel like Trader Joe's just stays busy. There's a lot of people here and it's making me nervous and shy. I'm a little self-conscious, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up getting content or not, but I was like already planning if I'm going to, I'll just like set up my tripod in my big purse right here, <laughs> but then like you'll still see my phone. You know, some people are nosy and some people just like to stare. I'm like, if I see someone getting content, I'll just like mind my own business and make it a point to not stare and just like leave them alone. But some people just love to be all up in your business. So hopefully that's not the case right now if I do get brave enough to try to get some content. <laughs> This is the pan I got. How pretty is this color? So we are gonna use her for the first time. Break her in. All 
All right, I finally got everything prepped. so hungry I scarfed my food down but I'm about to start editing the video I think it came out pretty good I just got a confirmation that my road order just came in the mail so I ran down to check my mailbox to make sure that it wasn't left out in the mail room for someone to steal because people have been stealing my packages and this is something that I feel like someone would snatch up real quick um, but luckily they left it in one of the locker boxes so I'm so excited to open this I want to do like an unboxing, so I'm not going to open it just yet. The next thing on my list is to redo my nails. Look how pretty these are. They're all glittery. I got these from Ulta. I usually always get my nail stickers from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls because they're always on sale, but they don't always have the best selection. So when I was hanging out with Alexis a couple of weeks ago, I picked these up from Ulta. Otherwise, I probably never would have went to Ulta myself. But I think I want to start shopping for the nail stickers there just because they have so many more cute designs and like just cuter options. Um, sometimes you can look out at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and get some cute ones, but for the most part, like I don't think I would ever see these at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So these were, oh, there's no price tag on it, but I think they're typically like $8. And then at Marshalls they're like $5.99 or something. So it's only a couple dollar difference. Um, but I'm so excited to do these next because I've just been over my red for the longest time. I'm just not a red nail girly. It's just something about it. Maybe this shade is just too bright or something. But I loved the pink ones when I had those before these ones. But the red is just not doing it. It's the cheap ass in me that made me wear these for so long. Because I'm like I want to get at least three weeks out of it before I change them. And it's been about three weeks. So... That'll probably take me like an hour and a half or so because I need to file them down, reshape them, and then get my cuticles right. It's Wednesday. I just got to CVS to pick up my pictures. I did a one hour express this morning and I got cute because I thought I was going to be able to get some content outside, but it's raining. So I just got some content in my car, but I forgot I had these cute earmuffs that I got from Princess Polly. Um, and then I just tied little bows on this side. How freaking cute is this? And then I'm wearing my tracksuit from yesterday again because I wasn't able to get content in it. I need to wash it because I got some stains on it. I ended up opening the road cleanser yesterday because I filmed a get unready with me. I haven't done one of those in forever and it felt really good to do, especially because I have my cute Skims PJs now. I haven't opened the lip tints yet. I was gonna do a video today, but I have a big old pimple right here because I have just been eating too much sugar lately. Um, so I need to get my diet in check. I mean, I know that doesn't matter, but I'm like, I want my skin to be perfect when I do this video. Surprisingly, the cleanser isn't scented, which is a good thing, but I thought they would have maybe made it smell like pineapple since it's called the pineapple cleanser. I mean, it's yellow, but it doesn't smell like pineapple. So I was a little sad about that, but it's probably better for your skin since it's not scented. So I'm gonna go get these pictures right now and then head back home because I can't get any content outside. All right, this is the before. She is complete. I love how it looks, but like I said before, I still want to build out the sides a little bit more because it does look a little plain. But we finally have our pictures in there. Love it so much. Happy Thursday. I just finished filming my road unboxing and I did some swatches of these. Surprisingly, these don't have a scent either. So I'm a little upset about that because I thought these were gonna be scented. I think it's the other ones that are scented. I guess the tinted ones aren't. Happy Friday. Yesterday was an ugly day because I have been breaking out so bad and I just didn't feel like putting makeup on. So I was just bumming it all day. I was cleaning, I redid my bookshelf. It was so dusty and just disgusting. So I reorganized 
organized everything and cleaned it off. I want to get a nicer shelf at some point to display my purses, but this will do for now. I'm about to film some content right now, and I put on the Rode Lip Tint in the color Raspberry Jelly today. I lined my lips, of course, but it's really pretty. This is like my first time actually putting it on because I wasn't wearing makeup yesterday. I didn't try them on because I wanted to get the full effect with the full face, and I love it so far. I don't know if it's just me, but these are like a lot smaller in person. I thought they were going to be maybe like double the size or like a little bit bigger. I'm a little worried I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, but we'll see. And I checked, they're already all sold out on their website. So I'm glad I got all of the shades. Today I'm going to get some content wearing this cute set from PacSun. I haven't tried any of this on yet, but it's adorable. This is like a skirt, and these have like little bows on the side. How stinking cute is that? Um, and then Aloe sent me a top and some socks. So I'm just gonna pair it together. Um, and then I was sent some jewelry from En Route, if I'm pronouncing that right. I was able to pick out like five things and you know I got jewelry that has bows on them. So I'm gonna do an unboxing of those. Um, I'm just waiting for the sun to come out because it keeps coming in and out. And uh, yeah. That's the plan for today. I just unboxed the jewelry and it's so freaking pretty. It's even prettier in person, which is rare, but look. So I have one pair of the earrings on. I'm obsessed with these. You have a gold and silver. So if like you wanna mix your metals. Um, and then I picked these two necklaces. I love how dainty they look and they go really well together. These are the second pair of earrings that I got. I'm not sure which one I love more. I feel like these are probably my favorite. They're so freaking pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna try on my outfit. I just wanted to unbox my jewelry first so I can wear a pair of the earrings. And I might just wear the necklaces too. I just got this package in the mail from Sugar Fina. They DM'd me on Instagram and I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of candy. So I'm really excited to open this. All of these sound so good. Either this one or this one is gonna be my favorite. We'll see how sour these actually are. I also just got some Touchland hand sanitizer in the mail because I'm collabing with them. So I have a lot of things to do, even though I'm slowly getting things checked off my list. I feel like it's never ending, but that's a good thing I'm not complaining. I look like an egghead right now. I need to get into some comfy clothes, take my makeup off, do some skincare, take this tight bun out because <laughs> it's starting to give me a headache. I'm gonna have a nice relaxing weekend with my husband. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna end the vlog here and start a new one on Monday. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching watching it. Make sure you're following me on all social platforms and make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next week.